In this video, we're just going to do some revision for English and life skills. Term two, we are going to be doing assessment soon. So this is just your revision on the term two work up until this point. So these are the topics we'll concentrate on in this video. Listening and speaking, phonics, reading, writing, and then all the themes we have learned in life skills will be found at the end of this video. So the first topic we're going to look at is listening and speaking. We're going to have two parts to this, the listening part and then the speaking part. For your listening part, you need to listen to instructions and follow them. And then for your speaking part, you need to prepare an oral. So yeah, we have our listening part of listening and speaking. I'm going to read specific instructions for you and you must follow them. So you're going to need your color crayons and a blank piece of paper to do this activity. Draw a red square in the center of your page. So in the middle of your page, I want you to draw a red square. Next, I want you to take your pink crayon and draw a pink circle inside your red square. Next, I want you to draw a big yellow sun at the top of your page. Anywhere at the top, there must be a big yellow sun. Next, you are going to take a green color and I want you to draw some bright green grass at the bottom of your page. Now I want you to draw two flowers anywhere on the page. It's going to be any color, so you can choose two different colors of your choice. And you are going to draw two flowers anywhere on the page. I just want to see that you have drawn two flowers. Now, you've already written about your favorite animal. For your assessment, you are going to talk about your favorite animal. It's going to be an oral using those five points that we used for our writing piece. So I've given you the five points again. We're going to go through them now. You are going to rewrite it or you can use your writing piece for your oral. You can add some more interesting bits. But first, let's take a look at the plan we need to use for our oral. So the first thing you need to do before you start writing is to choose an animal. What are you going to be writing about? What is your favorite animal? Your next sentence can be, what does your animal look like? What does your animal eat? Where does your animal live? And lastly, write something interesting about your animal. Why do you like this animal? Yeah, you can see your oral presentation rubric. These are all the points I'm going to mark you on. Look at the points under three because that's the highest mark you can get for each point. And you need to try focus on that in your oral so that you can get the highest possible marks. Phonics, so yeah, we have the silent E, you will just have to be able to read these words, so you must recognize how the sounds change, so you must read these words for your assessment. We call it the magic E 
because it changes the vowel before it. The magic E comes at the back of a word and there's a vowel in the middle of the word that changes. So if the vowel is an A sound, it changes to an A sound. If it's an A sound, it changes to a U sound. If it's an E sound, it changes to an I sound. If it's an O sound, it changes to an O sound. Let's take a look at some of the words we'll be looking at this week. Cake, wave, gate. The A changes to the A. Then we have cube and tune. The A changes to the U sound. Next we have hive, bike, time. The E changed to the I sound. And then lastly we have vote and bone. The O sound changed to the O sound. Do you notice I do not pronounce the E sound? I don't go gate or time. It's a silent E. It only changes the vowel sound before it. So the A to the A, the A to the U, the E to the I, the O, O to the O. So we only change those. And we don't say the S sound. You need to recognize and be able to spell the CH sound words. Here are four of them. You can go refresh your memory by watching the CH sound video on the YouTube channel. But yeah, we have itch, catch, witch, and fetch. Now we have our stir words. There's a whole list of words there. Um, I'd like you to try to read all of them. And then I'm going to go through each picture with its word with you now. The first one we have is string. Stir-ing. String. Yeah, we have strap. Stir-ap. Strap. Straw. stir or Straw. Street, stir, eat, streets. And then lastly on this page we have strong, stir, ong, strong. U, e, a, o. H U K hook W U D wood T U K took hook wood took H E T heat T E M team B E M bean heat team bean R A N train S N A L snail P A N pain train snail pain L O F loaf R O D road T O D toad loaf road Toad. Next, we're going to look at reading. Our reading has two parts guided reading and shared reading. In our guided reading for our assessment, we're going to read for one minute. It's prepared reading, but you have one minute to read as many words as you can. And then for shared reading, I'm going to give you a reading piece and you have to answer a comprehension on the reading piece. 
So now we're going to look at a few of the tricky words that we're going to find in our reading piece. You've received this reading piece before, so I'd like you to take a look at it, read it, practice it. It's for prepared reading, so you're going to get the exact same one for assessment. Let's take a look at these words. Aren't. This means are not. It is a contraction, so that apostrophe is in the place of a letter. It means we take out a letter and change the word. So the letter that we've taken out, there's an R for are not. The R is taken away, we put an apostrophe, and we make the word into a contraction for aren't. Morning. It is the time of day, the morning. Said. Now we've done the A sound in our phonics learning. And this does not sound like the A sound words. We pronounce this word said. We don't say said. It is said. You need to memorize this word. Worried. Worried. Pavement. Pavement. Covers. Covers. Horrible. Horrible. Dreadful. Now we did the E sound too for our phonics learning. But we did the long E sound with the E, E. But the E, E can also be a short sound. In this word, we're using the short E, E sound. Dreadful. It just sounds like E. Dreadful. Terrible. Terrible. Enough. Now these sounds sound totally different from what they look. So yeah, you also just have to know these different looking sounds. We don't say the O for O-U, we're doing A. Ah. And we're not saying G for the G sound. The G, H make the F sound in this word. Enough. Snoot. Every morning, Snoot woke up feeling very worried. What if the sky falls down, said Snoot. What if I step on a crack in the pavement? Oh dear, said Snoot. What if two stripes aren't enough? What if something terrible happens? Snoot, said his friend Milton, you worry too much. But one night something terrible did happen. Something terrible tapped at Snoot's bedroom door. Snoot, it boomed, I'm your big bad dream and I am going to get you. Snoot hid under the covers all night. Dreams can't hurt you, Snoot, said Milton. But Milton, it was terrible, said Snoot, and horrible and dreadful too. If it comes back, you must chase it away, said Milton. I can't do that, said Snoot. It's too scary. The next night, the big bad dream was waiting at the top of the stairs. Snoot, it boomed. I am going to get you. Snoot hid in the downstairs bathroom until morning. Next time, said Milton, say this. Go away, you big bad dream, and do not dare come back again. That should do the trick. Oh, cried Snoot, I can't say that. I'm not brave enough. So in your assessment, you're going to get a story that you will have to read. Your parents or someone in your house can read it to you, but you should also be able to refer back to it and be able to read it. I'm not going to give you a long piece to read. It's going to be a short comprehension, but you need to know what's going on in that story. 
So yeah, I have one. You're not going to get exactly the same one in your assessment, but yeah is an example. So this one says the following. Jane, Billy and Max love the autumn season. They like jumping into piles of leaves. Jane likes the pretty colors. Billy likes to make a big pile with the leaves. Max likes to hide in the leaves. And then you will have to fill in the answers to these questions. What season is it? So you refer back to the story. What season are they in? Number two is who likes to hide in the leaves? Number three, what does Billy like to do? Number four, what color do you think the leaves are? It's, so look at the season. What color are the leaves in that season that they are talking about in the story? And then lastly, what would a good title be for the story? We have been talking about titles of story, stories for the last couple of weeks. What title would you give the story? Now we'll look at the writing. This consists of three different parts. First, we have our handwriting. You must be able to write all the letters of the alphabet in upper and lowercase letter in print script. Then we have our creative writing. You're going to have to write an expressive text. So I'm going to give you some questions to answer and you're going to write a paragraph about something interesting. Then the last part is I'm going to check whether you use your capital letters and punctuation correctly. Yeah, we have the correct way of writing our print script, upper and lowercase letters. Take a look and copy them exactly how they are. Remember to stay in line and keep your letters straight. Yeah, you find the rubric for handwriting. Make sure that you use the lines correctly. You do not go over the lines. You space your words with finger spaces. You are neat. You don't press too hard with your pencil. Make sure your pencil is sharp. You form your letters correctly and then no words or letters are left out in the paragraph I'm going to give you. So yeah, we have the expressive text. I will give you something like this in your assessment. You must fill in the blank spaces by answering the questions. It must be a story, so each sentence must carry on from the previous one and it must make sense. So you're going to fill in the blank spaces so that I read a story. Yeah, you can see the creative writing rubric. There are four points that you must concentrate on. So take a look at this rubric and make sure that you follow it in your creative writing piece that you are going to be writing. Yeah, I just have four sentences for you that you must correct using capital letters and punctuation. Remember your rules when it comes to capital letters, names, beginning of sentences, places, those all have capital letters. Then remember to put your punctuation, your question marks, your full stops, your commas. I want to see that you understand punctuation and capital letters. Now I'm going to show you all these sentences with their corrections. Take a look. So now you can see in the first sentence, we put two capitals and a question mark. In the second sentence, we had to add three capital letters and a full stop. In the third sentence, we had to add three capital letters and a question mark. And then in the last sentence, we had to add three capital letters, a comma, and a full stop. Now we'll look at the life skill topics. Go through these slides, go through the old videos that I've posted on YouTube to refresh your memory on all the different themes we've learned. 
Summer is in December, January and February. Autumn is in March, April and May. Winter is in June, July and August. Spring is in September, October and November. In summer, the weather is sunny and warm. The days are long and the nights are short. We can stay cool by swimming or sitting in the shade. In autumn, the weather cools down. The leaves begin to turn golden and fall off the trees. The birds fly to warmer places. In winter, the weather is cold. In some places, there is snow or frost. The days are short and the nights are long. Some animals sleep through the winter, which means they hibernate. In spring, the weather is warm. The plants start to grow and there are blossoms on the trees. Birds begin building nests and laying eggs. Here are a few interesting facts about each season. Read through them and take them all in so that you can refresh your memory for your assessment. Farm animals. Now the first animal we have here is the sheep. A male sheep is called a ram. The female sheep is called an ewe. The baby sheep is called a lamb. A sheep goes ba, And a sheep lives in a crawl. That is the shelter. A crawl. Then we have the pig. A male pig is called a boar. A female pig is called a gilt when she doesn't have piglets and a sow when she does have piglets. The baby pig is a piglet. The sound a piglet makes is an oink or a grunt and they live in a pig sty. Then we have the horse. A male horse is called a stallion. A female horse is called a mare. A baby horse is called a foal. Or the female baby horse is a filly. Or the male baby horse is called a colt. Then the sound a horse makes is neigh. And they live in a stable. We have a wildlife video that you can go refer to, but here are the big five once again. You can read through this and refresh your memory on the big five, or you can go watch the wildlife video that is on the YouTube channel. So there are many animals and plants that live in water. Some water is fresh water, such as dams and rivers, and then some water is salty, such as the seawater and the ocean. Take a look at some of these animals that you can find in fresh water or ocean water, salty water. And then we have animal homes. Do you know where these animals live? Let's take a look. Birds make nests. And that's where they lay their eggs. Birds live in their nest. Bats live in caves. Spiders make webs. Spiders live in a spider web. Rabbits dig burrows under the ground. So rabbits live in burrows. Bees make beehives. Bee goes with hive. And then fish live in water. Whether it is fresh water or salt water, fish goes with water.